The following is a presentation by the FedEx Gord Broadcasting Service, FGVS, LECOM. 25 years, three campuses, one mission. The mission of LECOM is to produce young physicians, dentists, and pharmacists to meet the needs of the governor. The Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine was founded in 1988 in Erie, Pennsylvania. Siblings John and Sylvia Ferretti, both doctors of osteopathic medicine, recognized that there was a need for physicians in the area. So we had had some experience in uh, graduate medical education, so we thought why not um, expand the services of Mill Creek Community Hospital into a college. And they did just that. But creating the largest medical school in the U.S. did not happen overnight. By 1992, they uh, formed a uh, organizing committee. 1993, we took our first class. And 25 years, 10,000 graduates, My and three campuses later, Duran here we are, Raja. right on the cusp of a brand new campus them. here in Elmira. Even after expansion, the goal is still the same, filling the medical field with more leaders in osteopathic medicine. So what is ivermectin? Ivermectin is an anti-helminthic drug. And the difference between allopathic and osteopathic medicine is we take a holistic approach. We treat the uh, total individual, both mind, body, and spirit. And we also bring to the bedside an uh, added tool, which is uh, osteopathic manipulation, believing that the body has an inherent ability uh, to heal itself. Bringing LECOM to Elmira was no easy feat. The plan was rejected twice by the National Commission on Osteopathic College Accreditation. This board is recognized by the U.S. Department of Education as the official accreditor of colleges of osteopathic medicine. But that didn't stop the Ferretti's. They adapted their model and pressed forward. We're going to use the problem-based model, which we've used in Bradenton and in um, uh, Seton Hill successfully. And, um, I think they, they bought into that uh, program and the curriculum we presented this time. Not that we didn't have an excellent uh, program previously, uh, but the stars aligned and everything went well. Ground is expected to break in the coming weeks. The 48,000 square foot building will sit one block away from Elmira College's campus, right on the corner of Park Place and 4th Street. It will be home to nearly 500 students and over 50 staff. The first class is expected to begin in July of 2020. I think we're going to have a significant impact upon the uh, Elmira community, not only uh, providing the uh, 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 medical degree, uh, but also because of the economic impact it's going to have for the community, which I'm sure. Uh, uh, uh... Did Dr. Freddy fall asleep? Quick, someone wake him up. Oh. Oh. The following is a presentation by the FedEx Gord Broadcasting Service, FGBS. What's going on everybody? And this is Lake of Park. Let's head inside. Alright guys, we are here with a swashbuckler sandwich from the Hot Corner Deli here on, what is this, the third base side of the concourse. Um, it's $10, it has uh, lettuce, tomato, turkey, and bacon. Let's go ahead and give it a try. The wheat bread is good. I mean, it's your basic turkey sandwich with lettuce, tomato, onion, um, or no onion, lettuce, tomato, and bacon. That's good, it's fresh. For $10, it's not a bad deal. The Swiss cheese is nice with the turkey. You get a nice crunch from the bacon. And I'm a fan of wheat bread, so this is good. It's a nice healthy option, which you don't see every at every ballpark. It also comes with the side of a chip, which is a good deal for the $10. Um, you can choose between uh, barbecue and salted uh, chips. So for pop points, I would give this a uh, four and a half out of six pop points. We're looking for something healthy to eat on a hot day here at Lakeham Park, and this is it. 